Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nocturnal Illusion. I have jury duty. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Like in the space between episodes, I got the summons for jury duty. This is fucking ridiculous. I don't want to have jury duty. God. <laughs> okay. Let's just talk to this woman. Ugh. Are you still thinking about escape to the outside? It's a waste of time. Why don't you give it up? Uh, really, you are a very persistent young man. I'd rather you say that I am an optimist. Optimist? How stupid. Well, that's kind of hostile. Because of your optimism, you get depressed when you don't succeed. The more you think of success, the harder it gets to accept failure. What? Are you talking from your own experience? Right, I'm gonna save really quick. Alright. Hey, hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Swish. Sao leaps down and grabs a fist of pebbles and twigs, throwing them at me like a wild woman. Hey, what are you doing? The projectiles don't hurt much, but I can't return her blazing, angry stare. You asshole! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's my response to getting called to jury duty. <laughs> Suddenly, I find myself alone in front of the gate. Phew. I take a deep sigh, sweep the dirt off my clothes, and slowly start walking. A shaft of sunlight blazes on the surface of the courtyard. The pungent aroma of verdant greenery in the garden fills my nostrils. The garden looks vibrant and full of life force. Of course it does. Some tables and chairs are arranged in the garden, but I have never seen someone actually using them since I came here. Perhaps the sunlight is still too strong for whoever put them there to enjoy eating outside. You know, at least I'll get off from work. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, I don't really have to pay attention. <laughs> Although that's the kind of attitude that's going to get you kicked off the jury immediately. No, I don't really care. I'll probably flip a coin. <laughs> There seems to be nothing special for me here. I hear footsteps padding across the lawn towards me. Oh no! Oh, here you are. Why are they back? Well, at least it's sunny out. True. Now she just has a reason to wear them. What a strong smell here. Did you fart? <laughs> It's the smell of the grass. How can you stand it? It's so strong it makes me dizzy. So let's make a list of all the things this woman hates. Um, nature, um, education, men. <laughs> Do I need to go on? Doesn't bother me at all. It reminds me of the countryside. The male savage is savage. Savageness. This? And you, I guess, huh? This has nothing to do with savageness. I like the outside. <laughs> <laughs> How come you are irritated with me? I am not. Okay. Like I have told you before, I think you are overconscious about the male and female thing. I am not here to listen to you preach. Okay. Then why are you here? To look like an idiot in sunglasses? This is a great conversation we're having. I like it. <laughs> well... What? What's the matter? Hello, is anyone at home? Forget it. Done. Having said that, Maya turns and walks away. 
Hey! She didn't even try to turn and return my challenge. What's this? Oh, great. What's up? She turned you down, didn't she? Yes. I hate you. Ugh. How long have you been watching us? Oh no, don't think I'm a peeping Tom or anything. I just found you guys here and came over to talk. I don't to look at that stupid happy face of yours. Do I look happy? Oops! Sorry. I know the feeling of you two, man. In a place like this, nothing to drink, no place to play, how can you make it without a woman or two, eh? Anyway, don't worry. She is not the only woman in the world. To be honest with you, I am happy, actually, that I met her. You are a nice guy, so I'm sure you will be the first to congratulate me if I can get intimate with her. Oh, don't say anything. I know. What you need is a good friend. Don't worry, I can be that friend, and I'll be happy for you, even if you can't. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to my room. Alright, see ya. And then we didn't go to our room. Nope, he left. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's, um, go to the lobby? No. Um, let's go to our room? Okay, um, I know we eventually need to go to the attic, so let's try there. Okay. Um Okay. Let's head back outside. There you are. I saw Maya standing looking worried. Okay. What's the matter with you? I hate to depend on someone. I can see that. I feel shameful when I need someone's help. Year. I'm oh not even kidding. God. I am not even kidding. That's what it says. Oh my lord. Don't you feel that way? I don't think that it's shameful to seek someone's help. Don't you hate to lose a woman, for example? It depends. In any case, I don't think I need to feel shame just because I'm a man. Chauvinist. Took me a moment, I was like, what? I'm not a chauvinist. I just think that if you be yourself and like yourself, you won't feel ashamed of needing help from others. And that's what I think. Although being yourself is the hardest part. All I can say is be natural. Relax. Are you saying I am not natural? You hate no, nature. You're not. <laughs> Are you? You look like you're trying to prove yourself to others all the time. I thought you wanted me to do something. How did you know? Because you were bitching about not wanting to depend on anyone. <laughs> it's written all over your face. Look, it says, oh my god, I need to ask him a favor, but I don't want to lose. What shall I do? Can you see through me so easily? Year. Okay, well let's get on with it because I don't want to waste time. Okay. Maya took something out of her pocket and showed it before my eyes. I found it inside the house when I was investigating. Where? Is that a key? Looks like it. Do you know what that key is for? I tried all the doors which wouldn't open. And? I found a door that it fits perfectly, but... 
But what? Perhaps it's quicker if I show you. Follow me. There's a scanner that detects if you have a penis. It's really hard to get in. Here. Is this for that lock? Year. It fits alright, but I can't turn it no matter how hard I try. Chain looks too thick to cut, and lock too hard to destroy. A port up into the ceiling suggests there might be an attic there. Maya takes me up the stairs, leading to a room that looks like an attic, located at the end of a corridor on the second floor. Door is shut with a thick chain and heavy European lock. I found that the key sometimes fits the lock, which it doesn't seem to belong to. It does fit all right. I can feel it. It just doesn't turn. Well, you're certainly not the master of unlocking. Perhaps because it is so rusty. I guess so, too. I'm afraid I can't turn it myself. Can you help me open it? Yes. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go! <laughs> <laughs> I wow. take the key from her and gently insert it into the keyhole. If that's not a metaphor, I don't know what is. I try to turn the key, but it won't budge. Whoops! Be careful. Thanks for your help. Oh, this is incredibly hard. I put more force into it. <laughs> See, I told you there'd be a sex scene coming up. Crap! <laughs> we hear a dull sound, and the key bends. Shit! No problem, it turned. Eh? When I looked down at Maya's open palm, she was holding the bent key and an open lock. Phew, thank God. We've been lucky, haven't we? By we've been lucky, I mean I- you mean I did everything, of course, but yes, I agree. So, what are we gonna do now? Go inside, of course. What are you gonna do? I'm coming with you. As we open the door, we see a narrow corridor. It's dark. Don't worry, use this. I have this. Maya hands me a flashlight. We edge forward cautiously, following the spot's flight. Be careful, with the flashlights on, it's easier for monsters to spot you. Although, if you turn them off, they can't see anything, but, you know, whatever. See, it's brighter over there. It looks like a room. Ah! Turning the corridor, we arrive at a wider space. What is this? Wow. Before us, in the attic, is an enormous device with gears. Maya's checking the machine out. Being very excited. It reminds me that she can be nothing but a journalist. Oh, da, 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 da. Let me guess, you want me to do everything and fix it. What an awful amount of dust. Get over it. I like how she popped in just to say that. Gears are squeaking as they slowly move. What's this machine? Great, I never thought there would be such an interesting attic in here. <laughs> yeah, this is much... this much dust, too. Wow. Maya seems too excited to appreciate my sense of humor. <laughs> what sense of humor? <laughs> Look at this machine! It's well made! Don't get too close, Maya. It's still moving. I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's a magnetic field generator. That's an air purifier. It's a machine to move the hands of a clock. Honestly, it looks more like a clock. There's no way you would make a magnetic field generator with gears. The air doesn't need to be purified, even if that makes sense. This is the only thing that makes sense. An image of the facade of the mansion appears in my mind. Clock.
Oh yeah, this is the machine to move the hands of the clock. The one on the face of the house. Oh, that's you. The one on the face of the house? Yes. Maya looks at the device totally fascinated. What a machine. <laughs> Alright, folks. Now that we've discovered the secret of the attic, uh, we're gonna cut it off for this part. When we come back, uh, we might get a little bit frisky with Maya up here in the uh, clock tower room. <laughs> but you'll just have to watch the video and see. So we'll see you then, folks. Kiss, kiss.